Flinderelli! Flinderelli! Come on, not a flurry, not a flurry! Now, Jack, what's all the fuss about? Somebody new in the house! Somebody never saw her for! Oh, a new friend. Where is he? In a trap trap! Down the stairs! Oh, dear! What is going on? Huh? Somebody tell me how I got so small! <sighs> Don't be afraid. Oh! How interesting. I've never seen a mouse like you before. Mouse? Jack, you better explain things to him. Yes, uh... huh? Now, now, now! Look a little guy, break her easy! Not a worry, pal. We like a you. Flinderelli like a you too. She's a nice, very nice, nice. <laughs> Come on now, Jugs her! Ventus. Call me Vin. Shut up, Vin Vin. Need a shut up? Ask the Jack. Cinderella? Oh well. Time to get to my chores. I'll see you in a little while, Vin. Wow. I guess she's got her hands full. Just work, work, work. Step money. Keep a Flinderelli busy all day. She didn't seem to mind much, though. No, not so Flinderelli. She work a hard. Got a dream, big dream. Dream gonna come true. That sounds like somebody I know. Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Hey, maybe you can help me find him. His name's Terra. You seen him? Eh, uh, no, no. Never saw Terra before. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Come on, follow me. Gotta see the house. Hey! Lord, I just realized just how long those freaking cutscenes lasted. Like, Jesus! I'm not actually able to add my voice in until like three minutes into the video. Wow, I. Unprofessional much? Whatever! Hey, everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. <laughs> Excuse me. Last time we started Ventus's campaign and actually some of the better parts of Birth by Sleep, in my opinion. So, yeah, very nice. Uh, this time, as you saw there, we entered the Enchanted Domain. Yeah. Once again, I noted in the first, last episode how the, uh, the timeline different, differentiates itself between the three campaigns. Once again, this is a great example. Ventus goes to end the goddamn it cutscene. What's that? That's a palace! King's palace! Gonna be a big ball tonight! Is Cinderella going? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Hello, you two. Have you become friends already? Oh, that's wonderful. You sure look happy, Cinderella. Hmm, I'm going to the Royal Ball tonight. I guess dreams really do come true. Cinderella! My dress will have to wait. Cinderella! Cinderella! All right, all right. I'm coming. Poor Flinderelli. She not go to the ball. Why not? You see, they fix her. Work, work, work. She'll never get a dress done. Say, got an idea. Vin Vin Hippajack? With what? Fix a Flinderelli dress for the ball. 
But what do we need to get? Look around the house. Lots of pretty, pretty things. Okay, let's do it. I'll go find whatever we need. Jacques, you get things set up here. Sounds up. Ben, Ben, carefully, Rusafi. Rusafi? Rusafi, a cat cat. Meany, sneaky, jump a two, bite a two. <laughs> gotcha. You need to find five items to complete Cinderella's dress. A white sash, white lace, white button, pink fabric, and pink thread. Anyway, uh, Ventus goes to Dwarf Woodlands before Terra. And then now he goes to Enchanted Dominion, once again, before Terra. Obviously, he told us, yeah. Jack, excuse me, told us, to go uh, find the five pieces, which is our actually not that difficult, actually. I think this ball thing actually helps out quite a bit because, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the these items won't be in chests; they'll be kind of just laying out in the open. So you guys will know right away whether or not something is one of the things you need. So I actually I am glad that they made it so that these items that you're looking for are not in chests. I'd imagine that those would be very inconvenient if they weren't were in chests. They would probably be a lot harder to match. Uh, excuse me, not match out point out that if they were just then if they were just randomly strewn out throughout the room and uh, if I may be completely honest I suck at traversing through here I don't even know why I suck at this so hard I just do and I wish I had an explanation for it but I really don't. Really sad. Uh, once we get here into the main room, this is pretty much where all of the items you're looking for are. At least, I think? I might be wrong on that. Huh. Uh, and actually, if I may be completely honest, I actually spent quite a while in this uh, area because I, as I mentioned, I suck at finding my way through it. Like, it's sad that even in the games I know even remotely well, I still get lost. Unless it's something like Dark Souls 3, in which case I know it so damn well that I can't get lost. Unless it's the DLC, in which case I still get lost because I've only done a handful of it. Of it. But whatever! Tangents! Who likes them? Not me. I hate tangents. Of course, I say I hate tangents, but I just went on a tangent. Um, okay. And as soon as I freaking kill these unverse, I keep wanting to call them heartless. God damn it. Um, as soon as I kill these unverse, I can show you what I mean when I said that the five items are kind of just laying about in the area. As soon as these things can die, please. I hate these shoe things. It's like, hey, there's only you let you attack me once and then deflect all of your attacks following that. Such brilliance. Hey, good, we got strength up. Very handy because, you know, more damage is always good, right? I think. Is it good? Maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna assume that more damage is always good. And Lord, I didn't. I really did not realize just how many heartless. Heartless, wow. Unversed! English, Evan. English! Right there, we found a light. White. Light, wow. White lace. Uh, that's one of the items we need. Right there, pink fabric, I believe. What is it? I can't remember. Huh. Yeah, yeah, pink fabric, okay. Um Come on. 
I mean, I wish I could give more advice for how to do this area, because, but as I said at the beginning of the series, I've only played through Birth by Sleep all the way through a single time. This will be my second playthrough. Which, to be fair, I am making my way through Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, as I've already said. So, really, I hope too that by the time I get to Kingdom Hearts 2, I am a lot more familiar with that game than I am with Birth by Sleep, because I plan to do at least two more playthroughs, maybe? Maybe two more? Not entirely sure on that. Maybe two more playthroughs. Uh, Kingdom Hearts games tend to take a while, but whatever. Uh, on to finding more of these stupid items. Oh boy, how do I even freaking- Oh yeah, White Sash. Honestly, none of these items are really that hard to find, except for- yeah, except for the last one. They, uh, really, the last one, not this one, is the only actually difficult one to find. Maybe that's just me. And I don't know what it is, but every time I go through this section, I always want to hit that stupid teacup thing. Maybe that's just me. And actually, this brings up an interesting point. In Kingdom Hearts 1, it's explained, I guess you could say, uh, why you're able to shrink down to the size you do in Wonderland. But in Birth by Sleep, nope, Ventus just randomly transforms into the size you see him in. Like, what's the explanation? Do all non inhabitants of non natural inhabitants of these worlds just grow to the size of a mouse or something? I don't know. Like, I really gotta wonder that, like, why does that just randomly get transformed to the size of a mouse? Either that or Cinderella is just gigantic. But that can't work. Is that a box of cigarettes? Okay then. Um. But. I can't say that it's because Cinderella's gigantic, because when you play through this world as Terra and Aqua as well, if I recall correctly, they're both normal size. But Ventus, for some reason, gets shrunk to the size of a mouse. Why? Actually, there you go. How? Like, at least in Kingdom Hearts 1 with, uh, what's it called? For games? At least in Kingdom Hearts 1 with... Uh, Wonderland, there's actually an explanation. Not a very good explanation, but still an explanation. Like, that is just something that's uh, been bugging me, like... <laughs> I mean, granted, this is Kingdom Hearts, so not a whole lot of things are really explained all that well to you, I don't know. Eh, whatever. And if I'm being completely honest, uh, I failed at finding this last item. Like, really fail. Like, I think I spent like 20, 30 minutes trying to search for this item. And the funny thing is, the solution is actually pretty obvious. And I am so mad at myself for not freaking realizing that sooner. In fact, I don't even know why I didn't realize it sooner. Just more of my stupidity, I guess. Gotcha. I mean, one problem that I do legitimately have with Birth by Sleep, and frankly, this would this only applies because of the way Birth by Sleep is structured. At least from my experience, I wish that there would have been more variety in Converse. Because if you notice, we've been fighting a lot of the same enemies between the two characters. It's like, okay, why is this the case exactly? Like, why? 
I don't get it. It's just, it's just never made sense to me. Anyway, I do believe I could have hit here, so... Wow, I just realized that I made a really dickish, uh, freaking... Wow! I made a really big... Okay, yeah, this is the path you want to take up to get up to here. That's what I was meaning to show off. Uh, it's kind of difficult to explain. Sorry that I cut that apart out. In fact, that was completely unintentional, and I admit, very unprofessional of me. I should have shown that, but for some reason I forgot to do that. As you saw there, I leveled up, like, twice or three times in the process of trying to find this stupid piece. Yeah, that should tell you how long I was stuck in this goddamn place. And I am really embarrassed to say that. And honestly, I would have been really angry if I had somehow missed that jump. And bye. Still needs a pity pity pearl. Leave it to me. I now we want to go back out to where the main room was because uh, what's his face? Uh, Lucifer is waiting for us downstairs, which is unfortunate, admittedly, but hey, what can we do? And for some reason, I decided to uh, book it out of there as fast as possible. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Tips for this fight, don't do what I do. Just don't even do what I do. I honestly, admittedly, I do perform really badly in this fight. Like, what the fuck? Like, why is my performance in this game so damn inconsistent? Like, that time I hopped onto Lucifer's back, that is legit the only time I freaking jump onto his back in this entire fight. That's really pathetic. Like, wow. I mean, admittedly, it is nice that we're getting to fight more than just, uh, oh my god. I almost called it on verse, on par this again. Wow. It is a good that we are finally starting to fight more than just unversed and the occasional important character. Because, admittedly, that is one of the bigger problems I have with Terrace campaign, besides the boring visits to the world for the most part. But, yeah, I am so glad for this. Like, why couldn't we fight more unique uh, bosses in Terra's story? Wait a minute. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. I'm a dumbass. I just realized that really the only kid in, uh, part of it. Oh my. I'm burst! Not heartless! I need to get that out of my head. 
The only real unversed that you fight in Terror Story are Cinderella's world and Snooping Beauty's world, I believe. Oh, that's a big thank you. No thanks needed. You saved me before, so I saved you. That's what friends do, right? Friend. Now, let's get that dress finished. Oh well, what's a royal ball? After all, I suppose it would be frightfully dull and boring and completely, completely wonderful. Cinderella! Is that my dress? Yes. It's a present from us. Now you have a dress for the ball. <laughs> Why, it's... it's such a surprise. Flurry, flurry! Time to go, Flitterbelly! Oh, thank you. Chuck-chuck, hope a Flinderelli dream come true. What's up, Inventory? Huh? I wonder. <laughs> Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Well, you're not the only one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share the same dream. Funny. I'd never really thought about it. At least until you asked me. My dream? is to become a Keyblade Master. Hope a Ven Ven dream come true, too. I just need to keep on believing. Right? Zuck, zuck. Anyway, with all that all done, I want to end it off here. This has been Evan Sharkowski. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.